hundreds of thousands are fleeing northern Iraq, desperate to escape the murderous fighters from Islamic State. Amnesty International's crisis researcher Donatella Rivera has been monitoring the situation on the ground and their frantic search for shelter and protection. The rural areas of Sinjar have, she says, become blood-soaked killing fields. The scene of unspeakable atrocities, including war crimes committed by the Islamic extremists. Most people she met here are now stuck, in wretched conditions, still hoping to hear from those missing. Some were lucky to escape with their lives. Since June, the Islamic State fighters have captured swathes of Iraq and Syria in order to create a caliphate, a country that's supposed to incorporate all the world's Muslim with a unified Islamic civilization. In pursuit of this aim, they've targeted religious minorities, the Yazidis, Christians and others. Instead of focusing on helping civilians, the Iraqi government's response of turning a blind eye to sectarian militias and arming Shia militias has only aggravated the situation. The scale and gravity of the abuses and the urgency of the situation demand a swift and robust response. Not only to provide humanitarian assistance to those displaced and otherwise affected by the conflict, but also to ensure the protection of vulnerable communities who now risk being wiped off the map of Iraq.